All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the self-developed YouTube channel. You beautiful people, hopefully you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in this world. Comment below, where are you from? What time is it? Hashtag self-developed army, and let's get this video going. So guys, straight to it. I always say that, straight to it, because we get damn straight to this video, to these videos, to this channel, man. I don't like to waste your time, guys, and vice versa, because we still don't have time for that. The world is moving quick, we're evolving, we're adapting, and we need to have the right tools necessary, otherwise we get left behind, myself included, so uh, let's get straight to it. Now, if you guys checked out the last video, I'll link it up here. I believe I titled it, uh, Men Don't Want Slutty Woman, okay? <laughs> we don't. Go check that video out either before or after. This video is um, kind of like a part two, but in its own complete different realm. Now, there are two spectrums we're going to speak of, right? We have slutty woman on one hand, and I, I hate to use that word, but just very uh, promiscuous woman that a lot of times were created because of us as men, we've, 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 it's kind of like Frankenstein. We've created Frankenstein and now Frankenstein's trying to kill us and eat us, you know? And we're like, fuck, what did I do? Right? Uh, this video is titled, I believe, along the lines, men don't want alpha woman, okay? So we have two spectrums. We have slutty woman and we have alpha woman, okay? And now, before I move forward, I can already see this video triggering a lot of, uh, women in particular, men, and I just want to make sure we're, we're clear because I know it's a very triggering title. David, what are you saying then, right? Are you saying women can't do anything? You're saying they can't be slutty and they also can't be alpha. What the fuck are they supposed to do then, David? Great question. Uh, it's actually somewhere in the middle, okay? And this is what I'm going to call loyal, submissive, and conservative, okay? Somewhere in between. Now, let me explain, all right? Now, before I delve deeper into what this is, let's first... Uh, move to the extreme spectrum. And really, both of these spectrums were due to a lack of masculinity. It just uh, manifests in complete different ways. So let's speak of the alpha woman, right? Go check out the last video for more context on this. Now, why does this happen in the first place? Why do women become, quote unquote, these alpha females? Well, there are many reasons. The biggest reason is that because we as men did not fulfill our roles. It's that simple. If a man does not fulfill his role, right, in the relationship, the woman now has to man up, right, literally and figuratively to take both roles, right? So that is the biggest insult uh, for men. That is the biggest insult. And now don't get me wrong, there are certain situations and times where this needs to happen. I'll give you an example. My dad um, was sick a large portion of my life and he, he physically could not, uh, he couldn't fucking move, all right? And he died shortly after, but he could not move. My mom had to man up and take a lot of responsibility. So there are times where I get it, you know, you're, you're physically ill, you broke your leg, like you can't. I'm not talking about that, right? I completely understand. I mean, when you are a able-bodied man, which 99% of you guys are, you're able to move, to gather money, resource, right, material, and you still can't. And your woman has to supersede that. Holy shit, that is exactly what happens. Now, this is not women, women, you guys give me shit with that word. This is not their fault at all at all. How the fuck can it be their fault if they are just adapting? It is a survival mechanism based on the lack of what uh, pre preceded it or came before it. You understand? That's our fault as men. So what we need to do is man the fuck up again and go gather resource. It's that simple, guys. What you need to understand, which I have said and made clear on this channel so many times, is that women or femininity follows masculinity leads, right? So all we need to go do is gather this resource again. And this, guys, I need to make so clear, is in our blood. This is what we want to do. Believe me, you dream of this. I dream of this. This is what we want. But society has completely flipped the roles. They've made it, I don't want to say harder for men to do this, but because of media, pop culture, etc., etc., all the roles are flipped. So that's actually the part two as far as why they are uh, alpha women. So number one, it's because men fell, right? And women had to step up to the plate. But number two, because that's not just it. You know, if that was just it, I'm pretty sure we as men, we could fix that. We could get back up and say, oh, I slipped. No problem. Get back to it. And the roles would change. Like, we'd be okay. Um, the biggest issue is that media capitalizes on that because it makes a lot of money and it, uh, it creates a lot of problems. And when you have a lot of problems, you can create a lot of solutions, which is money, right? So the media, essentially, right? You know, we can blame whoever we want. Third wave feminism, this, that, you know, it doesn't matter. It, it, it's here. Um glorifies alpha woman and emasculates men and it puts that on blast i mean i want you guys just for a second next the next time you're watching an ad on youtube tv really wherever um look at the family dynamics and look how much they've normalized it and flipped it upside down i guarantee you the man uh, will be the woman and the woman will be the man promise 
it's, <laughs> it's just what media has done. So as impressionable young men, uh, myself included at times, uh, especially, you know, in the past, we think that this is just how it is. You know, mommy's now out getting the dough, making shit happen. And men, we just listen. I mean, go watch TV shows. Dude, it's ridiculous. Anywhere you look, guys, any advertisement, any movie, uh, the woman is now the main character. And now I want to make this very, very clear because I know I'm missing some parts here. David, why is that an issue? That doesn't matter. Let her do what she wants to do. You know, that's completely fine. If she wants to be the quote unquote alpha and, you know, go get the bread and the man doesn't, that's fine. Why, you know, what's the issue with that? Well, the issue with that is that that's not what she wants to do. And they've become, women have become delusional and brainwashed into thinking that's what they want when they don't. How do I know this? I could give you a thousand reasons. I'm going to list uh, one uh, big study reason that comes to mind in particular. Besides biology, I mean, study biology, that there's your fact in and of itself. But if you need something more tangible, there was a case study done in Scandinavian countries. Okay, guys, you can search this shit up where essentially after uh, secondary education, university, college, people, right, I guess scientists or a group of individuals, they took both men and women, right? And they gave them very little to actually no social influence on where they should apply for their job. They put them in a little bubble and they said, you choose whatever the fuck they want. Hypothetically, all jobs, let's say, get paid the same, same benefits, whatever. We're just going to observe you and watch you and see where you go. And what do you think naturally happened? Men move towards STEM jobs. This is science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and women move towards nurturing jobs. The jobs that were not as dangerous, the jobs that were much more stay at home, comfort, nurture. Do you understand? Or if you understand anything about science, technology, engineering, mathematics, they're not very easy, fun jobs. In fact, uh, 90 to what, 99% of all dangerous jobs are run by what, men? I mean, I was just uh, going to the gym the other day and I, I felt it in my heart, actually, because I was looking to my left, and on a, maybe some of you guys do this, uh, it was like a fucking, it was such a windy, cold, cold day. I'm in Canada, and this guy was on like a crane or a bus, and he was just fixing the hydro wires, and the fucking cart was just blowing by the wind. You could see there were wires flying everywhere, and I was like, you know, not that that's an issue, but it's sad because there's so much bullshit as far as it's just sad. Men work such dangerous jobs and they get no credit for it at all. And a lot of times, actually, now women outperform men uh, as far as jobs go, right? Believe it or not, because there are many things which I don't want to get into at this moment, but um, men work and love to because it's in our blood, these dangerous jobs. This is why the majority of prisons are filled by men. This is why all wars are fought by men. This is why these dangerous jobs are worked by men. And that's why when anything, this is a side tangent, this might trigger some of you guys, but people bring up the wage pay gap, right? Men earn, what is it? A uh, dollar versus every 77 cents for a woman, right? They get paid 25% less. Well, the reason for that is because men work these dangerous jobs. I can't tell you the last time I saw a, a woman fucking go up in one of those little carts and cut. I don't think I've ever seen that actually in my entire life. And that's not a bad thing. It's because that's not what they fucking want. Are you guys beginning to paint the picture? They don't want that. They never have wanted that. I witnessed this for five fucking years. My family, when my dad passed away, my mom had to step up to the plate. She was miserable. She did it. And I have so much respect for it because she had no fucking choice. That's not what she wants. That killed her killed her. She's in a relationship now with, uh, with, with another guy. And, uh, I've seen her for the past couple of years. The relationship's been going well. She's able to submit back into that feminine frame because the man has the resource and she's not, she has never been happier when she hugs me, when she sees me for dinner, she's in her frame, man. She's cooking for her family. She's buying gifts, you know, just, just, just happy and very joyful and bouncy. That's what women want, but that can only happen when the man has, um, the resource. Okay, guys. Now I know, I know these videos are not the easiest to digest. I know they're not the easiest to talk about. In fact, I have one of the most, at this moment in time, it's why I do this controversial, um, topics in all <laughs> the world. Uh, and I think that's why God's made me, uh, create this channel. No one talks about this stuff and you get shunned if you talk about this because society, politics have done a very, very, very good job at doing everything I'm telling you, but reverse. Very good. This has all been a plot. I'm just letting you guys know to emasculate men. And the reason for that is because it kills families. And when it kills families, it kills societies. And when it kills societies, you as individuals, uh, you're susceptible. And if you don't think that that's an issue, wake up and look at this pandemic around you. It's a byproduct or it is a result of uh, everything I'm telling you. If you guys think I'm making this shit up, I, I wish I wish I was. I wish I wish I was. But there is hope, baby. We can do what we can do. All right. Men don't want alpha women. 
not because it's bad for a woman to work hard, no, but it's because on a pragmatic, practical level, it emasculates you as a man and you realize that something is wrong. This doesn't feel right. And to, <laughs> what is it? Beat the, the nail on the head even further. <laughs> I'll give you a thousand reasons. This is why all relationships are crumbling and failing. This is why the divorce rate's so high. This is why there's so many um, fatherless families. Uh, parents are not sticking together. Huge reason is because of this. Because biologically, a man can feel when he's with his quote-unquote woman, which is now another man, uh, something's off. Something is wrong. This doesn't feel right. And if there is not proper order and hierarchy in the family, then you're fucked. There is no family. There is no family. Do you understand? Men don't want to fight and compete with their woman. <laughs> we don't. And I've been in a relationship now for going on five years. It's been very rocky at times. And uh, I can tell you, I don't want to compete with my chick. I'll crush you. <laughs> in fact, I told her that the other day. I will crush you. Do not compete with me in my realm. That's not your job. And we can play as many mind games and political games as we want and wear as many masks and facades. But when it comes down to it, when it comes to the realm of masculinity, men will always win because it's in our fucking blood. I remove all your bullshit clothing and all this crap that's been placed upon you, all these labels and words, and I put you and her in the wild. Who the fuck is going to survive longer? I hope to God you say you because if you don't, you have a lot of work to do. And uh, that's what it is, guys, to be a man. It's to acquire resource. It's to connect with God. It is to be the best us. And then when we are in the pursuits of women, or find one, they're able to submit back into their feminine frame, as it should be, that's what they've wanted the entire fucking time. <laughs> and you now both can have a beautiful, harmonious relationship because the order is corrected, do you understand? Doesn't mean she's weak or wrong, no, she has her roles to play, you have your roles to play, I need to make that clear. And once you have that properly ordered, you can now move forward with your family, with society, you have a strong foundation, but if that foundation is off, you're fucked. Buddy, you're fucked, you'll be miserable. And that's why men, Go now for the slutty woman, right? Because there's no responsibility when you have sex with, you know, promiscuous women. No responsibility. Because to take responsibility is to look yourself in the man and see all the weakness and lack that you have, right? This is why men don't want alpha women. Because it shows them as men the lack that they have. And it shows the woman how much they've been brainwashed. It's kind of, it goes both ways. But to fix it, leave, fix your shit, Work on it. Love yourself. Be okay with where you are. You don't have to be the best. I'm not saying you have to be fucking six foot five, a multimillionaire. Dude, I have so much work to still do. But that's what we want as men. That's what we love. The process, the journey. That is masculinity, climbing the mountain. Anyways, guys, that is it. That is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. We're going deeper and deeper with these videos, hence why, you know, got the cross, which, man, if you guys study Christianity or any Abrahamic religion, it speaks of everything I'm telling you about. Everything in plain sight. <laughs> Another reason why society demonizes uh, all religions because they'll wake you the fuck up as a man and bring back power and society don't want that shit. They want you to be docile and weak as a man. So they chuck all that shit in the garbage, right? But that is it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'll finish the video here, guys, with the final plugs. If you guys are interested and would like to work with me on a personal level at becoming the best you as a man, properly ordering your relationships in your life, attracting women again, guys, and dominating your fitness, business, mindset, and relationships, there is always one-on-one -on -one coaching, guys. Spots are open. I would love to work with you. Check it out down below. We have group coaching, which is the workshop. Go learn everything about it down below. Four one-hour calls with myself, a small group of men. It's cheaper than one-on-one -on -one coaching in case some of you guys are on a budget. I would love to work with you. Again, learn about it below. And finally, we have the self-development course, which is the cheapest option out of the three. It is passive. It's an online course which will teach you everything at becoming self-developed as a man or building this foundation, improving your fitness, nutrition, intermittent fasting, no fat, meditation, cold showers, increasing your masculinity, finding your passions, turning it into a business. That's what we focus on as men. And then improving our relationships. Go download the free half an hour version below. Get a teaser. See if you like it before getting the full one and I'll finish it there, guys. You can support Edge. This is their white t-shirt. All the logos. Oh, there's my back. <laughs> there on the back, guys. Coupon code Hammond if interested, and I will finish it there. All right, guys. I love you all. Thank you so much. Let's keep growing. Keep focusing on our climb, right, with that mountain, and uh, I'll finish it there. Thank you. Till then, much love. Peace.